Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. As more and more teasers are being released, we are finally getting answers about this year's Fright Nights event. Get ready to roll. That's right, we have now had three Fort Park Fright Nights teaser trailers released. And I know I'm a little bit late to some of them, and that's because I've been away this weekend. I was in Germany, and one of the teasers come out, and loads of people were tagging me and commenting like, Jack, where's the video? Where's the analysis video? And I was like, there's nothing I can do, unfortunately. So I've been waiting to get back home so I can film this video and also analyze the latest teaser that we've literally just got um, all today for you guys. But yeah, just as a little recap, I feel like first of all, we should play the very first teaser that we got. Oh yes, it's good to watch that teaser again. And obviously I made an entire speculation and analysis video based off of this small little teaser where I literally picked apart all of the walls and everything on the desk. And our biggest question from that video was of course, who is going to be sat at this desk? Whose desk is it? And well, as you guys have probably seen in our second teaser, we had that answered. So this teaser of course started off with a few nice close-up shots of a lot of the props and posters that we were analysing in the first teaser. So we now know 100% that that is a crow's mask on the desk, there's this beautiful 20th anniversary balloon, there is an Amity High jacket kind of on the pile of clothes and this board is actually from the Asylum. That was in one of the first corridors in the Asylum so that's an awesome touch and then we get this insane reveal as to who is sitting in this chair. And to be honest, I still don't really know that answer. We do now know though that it's not the director, it's not any other kind of main characters that we've seen at Fright Nights before in mazes. This seems to be um, a bit of a mysterious character that hopefully we'll find out a little bit more um, about. But yeah, he's, he's certainly a very creepy character who then goes to pick up this red box on the desk. So whilst we've had one question immediately answered from this teaser as to whose desk it is, who's sitting there, it's just created a whole new can of worms as to what is inside this red box that this character is about to open. And we were all patiently waiting to find it out. And thankfully, we've now had that answered in our third teaser trailer. So thankfully we weren't left in the dark for too long as for what was inside this red box. As in this third teaser trailer it is revealed that there is a VHS box titled 20 Years of Fear. Now interestingly this exact VHS box can be seen many times within the brand new Super Spark store in Angry Birds Land. And as soon as I kind of went into this store for the first time, I was saying about how it's got to be a tease for Fright Nights. And by now there are so many awesome kind of Easter eggs and crossovers between this store and Fright Nights that it is 100% guaranteed as a, a kind of tease. And the fact that this tape, which originally was seen in this new Fright Night Super Spark store 
is now in this teaser trailer. It once again just just strengthens that connection. Interestingly, in this shop, there are of course these old retro TVs which are playing some super interesting um, videos, which I showed in my previous construction update. Videos that could be teasing a load of exciting things. And there are of course tapes in the shop, so could this tape be what we are watching on these TVs? I don't really know. I don't know kind of how kind of meta they're going with it. So I was unsure as to if this tape was just a decoration or if it was the thing that was playing. But this character in the teaser obviously opens up the VHS box and for the first time we get to see the actual VHS tape itself. And the character then puts it into the VHS player and we're about to see it on the screen when this teaser cuts and it just teases us even more. So we've literally gone from who is sitting at this desk to what's in the red box to now what is on this VHS tape. I have to say I'm absolutely loving these teasers. But yeah, what can be on this VHS tape? In my opinion, this can be a few things. Um, firstly, it could kind of be the new big addition to this year's Fright Nights. Could we be getting a maze kind of centered around this character? Could it be kind of revealing everything that's going on with this Super Sparks kind of shop and all of the weird little trailers that we're getting on these retro TVs in the shop? Or could this even be like the big Fright Nights announcement? Could we find out like everything coming to this year's event? Once again, we're left in the dark for a bit and we are going to have to speculate. I mean, I don't know on these VHS boxes in the actual Super Spark store if they might give away any hints as to what could be on this tape. I don't know, maybe we could be getting some hints from that. But once again, as a community, we're going to need to try and figure this one out. But oh boy, it's exciting. And hopefully we are not too far away at all from some form of announcement for this year's 20th anniversary of Fright Nights. So yeah, as always, leave all of your speculation and comments down below. I've been absolutely loving reading through all of your theories on previous videos and all of the tweets and just general speculation that's going on in the community at the moment. It's so, so cool. And I think we're nearly there. We've nearly figured out all of the Easter eggs that there are. Yeah, things are very exciting. So yeah, be sure to subscribe for future videos. And of course, leave a thumbs up if you're excited for this year's Fright Nights event. And otherwise, my name is Jack Silkstone. Good bye.